Hello, my name is Keith Hill and I'm with Omron Automation and Safety. Today's video is going to demonstrate how to use the reduced resolution function using our F3SG-RA Safety Global Light Curtain along with our SD Manager 2 software. Presently I am online with the light curtain and I have set the light curtain back to factory default. If you need to know how to do that, please visit our videos showing how to set the F3SG light curtain back to factory default as well as get online. All right, first thing that we are going to need to do is, is we do need to come into the muting override. The reason for this is, is we do need to come up and disable the muting function. You cannot use the muting function in conjunction with the reduced resolution uh, feature in the F3SG. So now that we've gone and disabled our muting override, we can come in and select reduced resolution icon. That will bring us to the reduced resolution page. There's not a lot of settings here. Basically all we do need to do is just come in, enable the reduced resolution function, and the object that I'm going to be using will basically encompass three beams. So that would be our next setting down here is the number of beams. Using this pull down you do have the ability to select between one and three beams. My objects that I'm going to be demonstrating with will block three beams so I will select three in this case. Alright, so we basically have gone and set up the unit for the reduced resolution. So we're going to come up here to this icon and click on that to write the configuration. It'll bring up a configuration list and it'll show you in yellow the items that you have changed. So you can go up and down and just verify that it is correct. We did turn off muting and we enabled the reduced resolution for three beams. So I'm going to go and I'm going to write that configuration to the light curtain. Give it a couple seconds. All right, so you've basically successfully gone and wrote the parameters to the light curtain and you're ready to go. So what I'm going to do for this dem to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to come back to the top page and go into the monitoring and click start so that you can go and see if uh, what I'm going to do while I'm demonstrating it. The software will come up and say, is it okay to go into the detection mode? And I'm going to go and say, okay. We'll give it a couple seconds, and then we'll demonstrate how this works. Now that we've gone and downloaded the software, to uh, the program to the light curtain, I presently I'm online uh, in the monitor mode with my PC, so you can see what's going on within the light curtain itself. Now the thing that's kind of nice about the uh, reduced resolution feature it's similar to a floating blanking condition, but with floating blanking, you need to have consecutive beams blocked uh, in order to satisfy the light curtain. Now with the reduced resolution, basically that allows you to do multiple items as long as you don't exceed the number three, in this case, the way that we had set it up in this uh, presentation. As long as you don't exceed three beams, you should be able to put objects into the light curtain area without tripping the light curtain. Now presently I have a couple items here that are less than three beams in size. So I can throw them in the light curtain anywhere. I can move them up and down as you can see on the PC. I can move them apart. But as long as I don't break those three beams, more than three beams, I'm okay. The instant that I go and I join them, I break the light curtain because I'm breaking more than three beams. So the thing that's nice about this feature is, is let's say that you have a cart that you're moving in and out of the light curtain like they show in the, uh, the user manual, that if I bring that cart in to the area, everything's fine, and then if I move it out, it's fine as well. So just indicating something to that effect if you have your light curtain on the floor, and you're bringing an object in, as long as it's less than those three beams, 
you can move it in and move it out, but if a human walks in that area, it's larger than the three beams, it will trip the light curve. So that's kind of an example of showing how you can demonstrate the uh, reduced uh, resolution function within the F3 SG light curtain. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.